<laughs> but of course, Anthony's going to uh, he's going to stumble in right at three oh one, and not his That's microphone perfect. isn't going to work. In uh, red newcast form. That's how I like. It's real. <laughs> I hate that I'm wearing a Radu cast shirt. I just realized that. Well, you can't, uh, you can't see tell. it. Yeah, you'll think it's a banner shirt. What's funny is uh, I might, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I have a Radu cast, dude cast shirt. And my uh-huh. girlfriend said, Oh, you should wear that. I'm like, I don't want to, I'm going to look like a fucking <laughs> fanboy. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be the guy that wears the, the band's shirt to the yeah, concert. Yeah, right. I've yeah. got my Brendan Air jersey on today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm the guy in the band wearing the, I'm, I'm like The Rock when he comes out and owns the <laughs> yeah, rock shirt. Yeah, right. <laughs> my favorite uh, my favorite uh kind of i guess guy in general was there i, I was at a calves uh i was at i was at uh calves spurs when the calves lost uh their first championship and uh I, I forget what game it was and this like old like cool looking black dude just comes in uh wearing uh full Detroit Pistons uh jersey with matching pants and matching shoes and so and some guy and some guy like some like uh, like older like white guy goes I think you got the wrong address and the guy the guy just turns around in the middle of the row and goes you think I give a fuck, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, yeah, this guy just wears a Pistons jersey to a, a, a game they're not in. <laughs> Dude, one of my first – this is, I think, one of the reasons I hate sports. I was at a Yankees game when I – I swear, ten, less than 10, with my dad. At this Yankees game, the first opening minutes, we walk in. Some guy goes, hey, kid, opens his jacket, and his penis is coming out of his pants. And my dad goes, get him over here. Holds us, and then we run away. I probably should even save this. This is crazy, this story. Then we're watching the game. The people next to us, one guy is wearing, I, I swear, it had to have been like a Boston shirt or something. Mm-hmm. Yankees score. The guy in the row in front of him turns around, looks up, and just punches the guy in the face. <laughs> they had exper- There was zero that had happened beforehand. Maybe he was whispering something. I have no idea. But uh, it literally punched the guy out cold, and my dad was like, okay, we're going to head out. But it was like... <laughs> crazy well, it, i was like this is people are crazy a buddy of mine used to work security at fenway and they would have him go like undercover and it would be say like a red sox blue jays game and they would have him wear an orioles jersey and just sit in the stands and see if like a fight or a yelling match would break out and i was like what is the per- why are you baiting them into yeah. fighting? Yeah. i don't understand yeah. that it's method entrapment. that's it's entrapment <laughs> Here's Anthony still figuring out his iPad. What did, I t- what did I say? What did I say? I said, Anthony will stumble in. I said 301. He actually beat the record. And no audio will be working. Microphone won't be on. He'll probably be, I don't know, like on a line at a Dunkin' Donuts. Telling us to hold on. Well, well as I said in my review, he's the most famous one. So he, he gets that sort of treat, you know? We're going to get to that. We're gonna get to that piece of shit comment. You <laughs> oh fuck! We can just just do a recording, right? Broke. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Julia, it finally happened. <laughs> oh, yeah, everything. Oh my God! It Look at finally this happened. <laughs> Look at this. It ain't gonna happen. The chair broke. Yeah, it's great content. Julia, it broke. Yeah, it's okay. Three o'clock. Oh, yeah. Supposed yeah. to be doing a podcast. <laughs> Three o'clock. Guys, it. It <laughs> to go to IKEA chair. now. <laughs> no, I, no uh, do a stand. Do a stand for now. Stand for this whole thing. This will be enough to make me crazy. (laughs) What's up? I think the force of me. Yeah. I've been working out quite a bit with my TRX. (laughs) I'm gaining so much mass. I think the force of me took the sucker down. (laughs) Sorry. Here's the thing about. Here's the thing. Shame on me for calling this podcast a fucking mess. By the way, this is what happens every day. (laughs) Every day. No, this is is a clean. This is a clean open, Mike. This is what we call a good Mike. start. <laughs> Mike. All right. What you so think? we might as well just start. Really huh? This probably leave yeah. all that shit in. Why not? I hope that I hope we already started. Oh, yeah, 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 we've already started. Oh, I think we're recording. the first five minutes is him talking to his girlfriend. Yeah, uh, get that audio. Who you can't hear or know. He'll just be looking at her. I just want you to know that's the first five minutes. We'll get through that part, the opening just... sequence. Anthony, we're on someone else's podcast, man. We're on it's man. not our own. Now he's gone. Just mute his mic. This is, this is far better than what I usually do. Don't no. worry. Oh, this the bottom on this one's loose too. 
<laughs> hey, good. Talk about your chair situation. Good. That's what he had us on for. Is, I did. This actually. is real. This is real time, man. This is real time than Bill Maher. It's interesting. The chair in my studio is not great, so I'm interested in a lot of chair talk. It is what I bring. I have to. I gotta get my glass. I can't. Uh, well, no, I guess I can see. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, well, you're on the right podcast. Don't worry. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, hey. I, yeah. I'm, I. I was in a boat. Yeah, Greg will make that joke, not me. I. You know. I know. I, think that, I think that everyone is equal. I'll say this. Mike, I appreciate that. Mike seems like a good guy, but before I, I noticed Mike I'm looking is at a his, great guy. Hang on a second. Let me finish. I was, saying you. I was talking to you, Anthony, so I don't know why you interrupted me when the information was for you. The gift was for you. I'm trying to. How do you go full screen on this, or is this all I can do? In in what? I think this might be what you get. Full screen on what, Anthony? <laughs> I'm on the page. I'm on StreamYard. Can you see us? StreamYard.com. Don't go. This podcast. (laughs) StreamYard.com. For all your backyard streaming needs. That's what we do. All right. I think... Are you guys full screen? I'm not full screen. You don't no, need it. No, it's fine. You don't need it, <laughs> it's an Anthony. Audio-based medium. <laughs> Actually, no. He's, this, you're you're wrong. It's on YouTube. It too, right? I think they are. This yeah. Mike guy, the real Anthony guy, is making me crazy. <laughs> he talks about how famous you are. Him through and through. Anthony, you're 100 Anthony, is, take your time. Welcome to the blind Mike. And, uh, <laughs> Anthony, my, I'm probably blind, too. I'm blind. It's solidarity. Oh. My man, Mike. That's, I've, I, I saw that in you. I felt tonight. it in you. And I, that's um, why I was drawn to you. All right. My first topic. No, I stop watched... it. Let <laughs> the man host his own show. I watched District 9 last night. Nobody no, give the good, fuck. Bro. Nobody give good. the fuck. It is good. good it is good. Get out of good. these house <laughs> Come on, man. Get out of the house, bro. It's, it's good. That's a pretty good South African. A white South African accent. Yeah. That's not bad. Julie, but we will get we will get to that very we'll old movie at some point in this. I had that uh, in my notes like here. South I did plan yeah. to get. Come on, to. come on, man. <laughs> come on, but, man. Poor so, Victor. for anyone who has no idea what's um, going on, uh, a couple Mike, weeks ago, I reviewed. Up, what's up, Anthony? How's the going? alive are not done with you yet. <laughs> this is. Man, I can't fucking... hear Mike. Brendan, well, how do you do this? I don't understand. Yeah, we're getting a word in, Mike. Welcome to my world. On your own Mike. show. It's hor- it's hey, horrific. Mike. I thought I thought it was always kind of a bit that Come Brendan on, was like, oh, I can't wrangle bad. these two maniacs. No, it's, it's, you, no it's just fucking chaos. No, <laughs> your Venmo up. We'll, we'll, we'll send you some cash as we barrel through your podcast. <laughs> All right. I'm going to – can I get a go? Can I get a go? go? I'm going to uh, get Anthony a go. For five points. Now, uh, what I'd like to suggest, it being his show, and he was nice enough – to have us on, yes. I would like to suggest that we let Mike guide for a little while, for a little while, and then you two can go back to whatever it is you're fucking getting at. But if you could let the gentleman control his own show well, just for a few moments, I think that would be courteous. Sure. It'll be before the we, worst part of the podcast. But Greg, before we start, <laughs> okay. Before we start, I guess, we start, was, I guess we that was a that. failure. I think we're we going like to do that. Minutes ago. We're going to do that. I want to get started, but how? Before we do, how do I change my name to Blind Greg? Ooh, that's interesting. Just do it on Twitter. People, uh, I don't wow. know. I don't know how to. I meant on the computer, and I really thought that was going to get a bigger laugh from my own people. Oh, I thought you were asking me. I, I'm, I barely know how to work this program. I can't <laughs> well, that's hear clear. Mike. That much I has been established. Can anyone else hear my mic? I see Mike's lips moving. Unless he's playing me for a real ruse, which you I don't can't mind, hear me at all. But he's talking, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I can't hear any of that. Oh no. So I'm not really being that much of a jerk. I literally can't hear that. <laughs> Hold on, Mike. Talk now. Well, Hello, wild Anthony. Move. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can't hear any of it. I swear to God, man. This is. Oh, I've this never is seen him pull a prank like this. I think. <laughs> yeah. This, how, this is out of my how, area of expertise. Yeah, not, how can God. you hear us but not Mike? That makes no sense. <laughs> I don't know. How any I'll of this to, works. I keep is that... on his square, but nothing is happening. Maybe yeah, click on his maybe square. Maybe check out and come back in. <laughs> Yeah, sign out, sign back in. We click on the link. All right, yeah, or maybe, that. or maybe gonna... just forget about the sign back in part. <laughs> I'll just talk to Brendan and Greg. And then... Come on, men. He's come gonna come on. back with a new broken chair. That's what's gonna happen. God, I hope we're down to three. Um, sign we'll do... out, sign back in. All right, I'll sign out and sign back in. Okay, thank you, Anthony. So I uh, assume we're recording, even though Anthony couldn't hear me, I guess. But for anyone who didn't thing. understand that chaos, he the, could uh, hear you, but it like it's it's he can't he hear really? us in the way you understand hearing. Like 
probably the words were going in, but he was thinking of something else. So that's what <laughs> he's considering not hearing. He just wasn't paying attention. Was he really just fucking with me, you think? No. 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 Oh, okay. Oh, I hear you, man. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> No, that was real. I was, <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize you were probably talking the whole time I was right. screaming. Oh, I certainly was. Yeah. Oh yeah. fuck, man. I apologize. No, no, I, I really couldn't hear you. I wasn't just being like an absolute diva. Like hey, I Anthony, hear you. you don't worry about it. All right, you're my guy. Yeah, don't your don't guy, even man. don't yeah, even no. think twice. I'm a mic man. You're the most famous guy on the podcast. <laughs> That's true. As yeah, per- can I s- can I say that blind mic? No, I'm just not calling. I'm like, what do you like to be called? Blind mic? Or Mike, mic? blind mic. Either one is fine. Okay, great. Mike, I'm so happy that you. Um, I don't like to bring it up too much on our podcast, but right. the, the how famous I am. Yes, I, I thought it was so great that you mentioned it. Really Did I say it. that? Did I say no, you were very famous? Let me, no, let me no. say what he said. Let me say what he said. This is how you. This is Go how you ahead, reviewed please. our podcast. Please, you said, guys, I got a podcast. You guys got to check out. It's three, two pieces of real shit <laughs> who are, who work with i think the a comedic genius well world renowned anthony devito other guys who care about these other guys you'd have to to know who they are you'd have to go to everyone's house on all of america and know everyone's names and the last one you check would be these two pieces of horse trash and then you have the heavenly hairy anthony devito <laughs> But the podcast is fun. Oh, man. <laughs> it is fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Anthony that, carries the dead weight around. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Someone appreciates me as the leader. And it was so nice for you to throw a, a bone to Brendan and say he was the host. Whenever Is he not? I've never been so angry in my life. <laughs> is he not the host of that show? Well, how would you describe him? Brendan? I do. I, I thought you described it very accurately. Brendan is the host, and Greg is there, and I am the most famous person in the room. Right. Yeah, yes. and Greg is kind of just there, and that's how I view the Red Dude. <laughs> I'm the audio technician. I guess, you know, I, yeah, you're I producer make, Greg. I do sound checks. Yeah. <laughs> so for the ninth the time, I'll try and explain this. A couple weeks ago, I reviewed the Rad Dude cast for anyone who wasn't watching at the time, and uh, I, I thought what I gave was a glowing review. And then someone alerted me to uh, the Rad Dude After Dark Facebook group, where. <laughs> Uh, the link to my video is posted, and they're just the comments are, "Who is this piece of shit? <laughs> Who the fuck does this guy think he is?" <laughs> I was like, "No, God, I'm one of you. I like the podcast." <laughs> yeah, that I, I'm too sensitive to read reviews or anything like that. So I had mm-hmm. Brendan call me up and told me everything we said, and everything was so spot on. A, a lot That's of what I said. Like, yeah. This guy deserves to be even blinder than he is. <laughs> and, and I was like, I guess. And then Brandon called me and I was like, I don't know, man. This guy seems like he nailed it. Every single thing. This is the level of this is the level of Anthony's attention span, right? Okay. Well, as you can see, as he's already see. he's already not paying attention. Speaking through the recycling uh, right now. But so Greg <laughs> in our group text thread. In our group, first of all, Mike, mm-hmm. it was it was a great review, and we oh, appreciate it. And it was an honest review, and that's My pleasure. those are the best kind where you're like, uh, you know, you did mention that in order to find it, you would have to uh, uh, comb through the dregs of the comedy world. Uh, I don't know if I put it like that. Uh, <laughs> and and the truth is that's probably true but you also had diamond in the a ton of positive stuff to say about it but this is anthony's attention span greg uh shoots the review over in a text um i go i write one thing and there, there's nothing there's just the video link me writing one thing and then Seven hours later, Anthony going, where can I read this thing? <laughs> what do you fucking mean read? There's a video link that you literally have to be looking at to have typed that. You have to have been looking at the video link. No, it, a lot of people say my podcast is better in transcript form, so I can understand why. <laughs> so I, tried. I tried to get the XC file, but I couldn't find it. He's like a paralegal, Anthony. He likes to have his documents yeah. and uh, highlight I everything. Just, 
I, I think maybe I thought of Anthony as uh, this icon you guys were carrying around because mm. I listened to the podcast yes. and I think there's no way they would have this guy who's eating and not paying attention <laughs> or not there half the time. Like he's late. Like they must, there must be a reason they carry this guy around. He has to be so famous. Well, and, and, to, and to be yeah. fair, and to Star be fair, power, uh, the, the, to be fair, the level of fame that we're dealing with here, I believe what was mentioned in the review was uh, <laughs> you probably, you probably haven't heard of uh, Brendan or Greg. I think I saw Anthony once at, the, at the Rhode Island Comedy yeah. Connection. Yeah. That's, that's the level of fame. It's not. It's not good that's, fame. That's famed me. <laughs> yeah. I, you amused me even. while I shove fucking soft pretzels in my mouth. Then yeah. Then you're, you're a famous I guy. Even headlining. That's probably the middle guy. You were headlining, baby. Oh, I go out that's... and see Anthony DeVito when he comes Ooh. to town. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I fill those seats, man. Now, Mike, let me ask you yeah. this. So uh, you're you're in Boston, but you've mm-hmm. got the Yankees hat on. Are you a yeah. New York guy originally? or No, uh, Western Mass. I, okay. I was a Red Sox fan when I was, I was younger, but Western Mass is actually different, where it doesn't right. – it's a little more split. Um, but, no, I, I've kind of fallen out of uh, – the Red Sox owners are sort of hated in this town. They're kind of pieces of shit. Yeah. And they actually ran. I'm on the Kirk Minahan show, and they ran Kirk Minahan out of his uh, out of his old radio station. That piece uh, of shit. The, you're Minahan. damn right. Greg. So I, I'm a Kirk man. It kind of it kind of started as a as a bit that I was saying fuck the Red Sox, and then I just started to hate him more and more. So you well, know Steph Kerr? Uh, no. Uh, he's one of the greats. <laughs> now, this is something I listen enough to know that this is uh, uh, the wool is being pulled over my eyes. I might so not be. <laughs> Sometimes Greg just, you know, he, he, he's not great. I mean, he'll pull words. They're not accurate. He couldn't be saying the right thing. Say it again, man. Steve that Kerr. Steve yes. Kerr. That's yes. Steve Kerr. Man. Okay. Yeah. No, nah, he wasn't pulling the wool over your eyes. He literally asked if you knew Steve Kerr for no reason. Oh, no, Steve Steve Kerr. Kerr. Right. Sports. We're t- you're talking sports. I'm oh, talking sports. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's Seth Kerr at first. First of all, I did I'm see not sure did. Steve Kerr. Okay. He yeah, certainly he had, did. He, he, in fact, had some wool over his own eye, <laughs> yeah. which is a, a rare trick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. but listen, yeah. let's let's let, uh, uh, if I could propose, I'm not, yeah, I'm not right. trying to railroad anything. Let's let Mike, please. let's, no, let's let Mike see if he, he wants to uh, host his own thing. No, no, please. This is way better okay. than I Okay, I'm just do. making sure. No, no, are, I would much prefer this. As long as you're okay with being railroaded. <laughs> Absolutely. We're, Take we're over. The, we're the fucking train, baby. Uh, <laughs> welcome aboard, 2-2. Uh, Greg, to you. Uh, well, I started comedy in 2008. <laughs> okay. Boy, was I worried. Because I was... <laughs> Hiya. I don't know. Hiya. Back to you, Anthony. Well, that's I saw what impresses me about your guys' night. podcast is that is that <laughs> like I I I spend time planning and think like what am I gonna ask them about? I have I mental notes that I take. Yeah, and yeah. you guys will just say something like I was listening the other day and Greg just like, what if we started a union for kids? Like who would run it? <laughs> and that's like 20 minutes. <laughs> like I, I don't have that ability, I don't think. Yeah, well uh, we do uh, we do uh the Rad Dude cast it kind of like uh, it kind of started in in the way of like. Uh, <laughs> You're making fun of me, man. It it started. Yes, Brendan, please. Sorry, when, Brendan. Uh, you know there were so many podcasts out there at the time. Now there's a few more like ours, but there were so many out there at the time that were comedians talking to uh, interviewing other comedians about stand-up comedy right. and we what were bullshit ba- that would be who, who yeah. what kind of an asshole would have yeah. so, an yeah. idea? <laughs> and, and we were we were basically like i think we were driving back from a gig or something like that we're basically like what if there was just a podcast that was comedians talking the way they talk when no one's around like right. just just being ridiculous fucking around just making each other laugh like which I think comedians tend to laugh at stuff that's kind of different than the general public laughs at. And that's how sort of the idea was born. And, uh, you know, we did some real revisionist history, man. (laughs) What's the real story, Greg? No way near how the podcast started. (laughs) That's absolutely how it started. Man, let's each take a crack at it. You go, and then I'll give the, the real history as how I remember as the originer, the king and creator of the rad dude case cast started do you remember why, anthony why what? is this a kirk minahan show i thought this was my yeah, show. a lot of a lot of questions <laughs> that are happening it's on the kirk minahan show network it's a, oh, it's a oh okay cool oh yeah. man 
Uh, who's Kirk? Is a friend of yours, Mike? <laughs> Kirk <laughs> Manhattan has a show on Barstool Sports. I work on that show. Oh, I'm on that cool. show. Oh, I'm like okay, the second great. Mike, I guess. All right, got well, you, got you, man. Um, all right, Craig, go ahead, man. What were you saying? <laughs> so Brendan, Brendan was telling his story, and I'll tell you about his story. Is foo foo? You know what I mean? That's um, yeah. Yes. What happened was <laughs> I. The year was 1996. My goodness. I bought a, <laughs> ahead of everything. We were ahead. Of, and I said, I got to gather up my skills, you know? And I started right. getting my skills of a broadcaster. <laughs> I bought a white MacBook okay. and a snowball lamp. 1996. Okay. Obama was in Congress. He was in the... I don't believe that. <laughs> no, no. That is... Uh... He was but a junior senator in Kenya. Okay. <laughs> Bin Laden was still on our side. His, his, birth cert, his birth certificate had yet to be falsified. <laughs> if, I, if my uh, memory serves me correctly, Bin Laden was a mayor of Cincinnati. Right? <laughs> we all remember those. Those were wacky days. And days you, could, you couldn't turn on the radio without hearing a Robin Thicke song. You know what I mean? <laughs> this was a big time. Okay. This was Thicke's world and we were living in. I remember those days. That boy Thicke. <laughs> The thick of the night was reign supreme. <laughs> um, yeah. So then I said, let me, let me. So I started, I said, I'm going to start this podcast. And we had, uh, I think, seven people on it. Uh, and uh, we recorded five episodes, none of which made it to air because <laughs> I didn't hit record on any of them. And consistently, five <laughs> episodes were deleted. And the only per the only people of the seven who remained were me, Brendan, and Anthony. Oh, there were real. Did you actually do oh, episodes my. with more people? Yeah, so, it was yes. like Dave Waite, Andrew Short, Reed Failer, Dan Shack, Dan Shack. Shack. Sounds so, like you did, right? Never heard of so, him. So, uh, what you could? <laughs> they all you, died. Thank you, Anthony. What, what <laughs> you could? Well, I thought I <laughs> what you could do? Uh, what you could do if you're listening along at home is you could uh, delete the entire. You could take my story. Then delete the entire first ninety uh, percent of Greg's story. Add the ten percent at the end to my story, and that's the real story. <laughs> All right, excellent. See, you this is why, Brendan. Do you this is why. So much math to do. What? <laughs> I think they're gonna well, pull that math. Andy, yeah. put your glasses on. <laughs> oh, all, right, all right, but I have to get up to get them. All right. Mike, How will that know. help him? How, will that really help him? Yeah, because he... when he doesn't have it, he just leans right into his fucking webcam. It's okay. ridiculous. I don't know I can... how blind you are. I'm, I'm uh, what they call legally blind. Legally blind. So I can blind. see a little bit, but I can't drive. So, can, and... so you can see how Anthony looks at the podcast like this? <laughs> yes. I think it'll be a nice visual for the people his, watching on his, YouTube. He's face first <laughs> into the camera. It's one of the most distracting things in the world. you got to oh, remind shit. him to put his glasses on. This should be better. <laughs> Well, I'm about to cause more divide in the Rad oh, yeah, Dudecast good. world. I This is why I have – sometimes I have a tough time, and I hope you don't take any offense to this, boys. Well, here we when go. Brendan's not there, I have a tough time listening because I just think, <laughs> what the, the fuck is happening here? Well, uh, when because I was gone for a long time because I have uh, – because I'm a, a mentally ill person, right. and I was gone for a long time, and uh, a lot of listeners – have said something things to that extent and what it is yeah, is what God, it is happy greg is right now well but he because i have emails too that i'm going to show well but here's the thing here's the thing what it is is um you cannot uh take sherlock holmes okay sure. right he great the greatest detective of all time ever right. debatable uh, and uh is he the greatest detective yes, of all yes, time yes yes without uh, we'll question. The top five later Batman. but oh great great idea mike we'll do top but, five detectives right after brendan's done with his horse shit but <laughs> but he's pure genius pure yes. unadulterated yes. genius but he didn't he didn't he was his level was so high that without john watson without dr watson he could not interact with people Right. And so or I'm, heroin, I'm, from what I'm, I learned cocaine. He shot cocaine. That's what Sherlock oh, Holmes did. That's right. But Clyde so, shot heroin. so it's not that when I'm not there, the quality goes down. It's that when I'm not there, the quality goes up to so high a level yes. of comedy mm. that in fact, the average man cannot even take it right. in. 
That's so, always how I felt. About or it. woman. <laughs> or woman. Sexist. So well, I'm the. Or a I, thing. It could be a thing. Could be a I, thing. It could be I, a thing. I'm the Doctor Watson <laughs> to these two geniuses who has to occasionally say, "Hold on, you've got to explain what you just said because uh, yeah. it was very good, but uh, very crazy." Uh, yeah. So they, they are. Uh, I would say. And 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 to be completely honest, the podcast was uh, fantastic while I was gone. Uh, it, uh, 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 and I appreciate them doing it in my absence. It was oh, meant cool. a lot. Yeah, well, I got I'm a really bunch just... of emails. Uh, I'm sorry, when Brendan was out, <laughs> what did they say? Brendan was, I used to get a lot of emails. People, no, really nice emails. People would be like, you know, like, I love you and Anthony, but we, yeah. you know, I can't relate. Being a coward, I have no one on the <laughs> podcast to relate to. So if you could bring back. The coward, the coward league. I would get constant letters from the coward <laughs> league. Did you? I you got us both on that. Of that before you started complimenting us, Brendan. Before did you went into the nice part. I was going to say, did you even listen to what I said? I, yeah, you're the I Sherlock you. genius. Holmes. You're the you're the stars. Okay? I had the cowards league bit lined up before you got nice. Yeah. Well, so if it was in the me? chamber, if it was in the chamber, I guess you got to pull the trigger. No, yeah, no choice, choice there. there. Uh, so, well, my, my part's not going to make me sound too good. The more he says he loves us, what I what I love also is that I've I've fully blown Brendan and Anthony, and without Greg, none of you would be on the like. Greg's the one I interacted with to get you guys on the podcast. Oh, yeah. of course. Yeah. The, yeah. Let me tell you, I'm the glue. I'm the funny man. I'm the passion. I'm the sex appeal. I'm not. Brendan's got a little sex appeal, a uh, little bit. Um, sure. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I will, I, I, will, I will tell you this in all honesty, because I was thinking about it the other day. When we don't have guests, the podcast, if, if we're on the road or for whatever reason can't can't do it remotely, the podcast works uh, pretty well with me and Greg. The podcast works really well with Anthony and Greg. The podcast is tough with me and Anthony. Is it? So if Greg... <laughs> It is. Never, what do you attribute that really? to? Oh, I never looked at it that way. I thought it went along just fine. The one episode we did together. I realized it was so difficult to talk to me. Yeah, it doesn't happen when I'm not here because no one pushes record. Yeah, that's because well, I'm the audio true. technician. Yeah. Well, and not not only that, I do feel that you are the glue. I do feel that you're the you're the you are. Uh, perhaps most embody the rad dude cast. And Anthony, I was just trying to make Greg feel good. Don't f- take it personally. I don't care about anything, really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's been clear yeah. for all of us. I think we don't really care, yeah, at all. I just thought it was funny that you said it was so tough to talk to me. But in <laughs> no, reality, no, 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 no. I was not. T- it wasn't. It wasn't tough to talk to you. I just mean it didn't. For some reason, when Greg's not there, it doesn't have the same magic. For just whatever me. reason, I don't know what I, it is. Well, such difficult because you don't like things. Anthony. That's why. Ooh. Could be it. Could be. That's it could why. be. I've never but, even seen you two together when I'm not around. Really? I've never Please. been in a room where it's just you've been you two and not me. Now, let's let me explore a- that. Brendan, why is that? <laughs> you want to explore why a man <laughs> has never seen two people in a room when he's not in that room? Yes, why do you think that is? <laughs> As a, well, uh, Basic physics. Tell uh, me. It's just sort of how the universe works. Well, I, I'm uh, not, I see you right now. I'm not in that room. Do you, you blind Mike? <laughs> no, I don't. Brennan, just no, I don't. I'm <laughs> trying to use a little. <laughs> these are cheap shots and by someone who has a crippling mental problem. For you to talk about Mike's physical disabilities, oh boy. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's, that's I should cha- really over the line, Brent. I should change my name to just you know, uh, <laughs> fucked up, Brendan. Mentally ill, Brendan. <laughs> when will we get to my unboxing segment? <laughs> let's do it now. Anytime let's, you like, Greg. Yeah, let's do the unboxing. Okay, I got uh, I got the. Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is gonna be horribly boring. Man, <laughs> from a coffee shop. Okay. No, Who I'm not gonna that? do it. Oh I was God. Batman from Injustice. I bought it because I was depressed today. Oh. And then uh, I oh, buy a fig. It makes me feel better. Huh? Why, no, why are you depressed? Right. Oh, sometimes I just get a little sad. 
<laughs> and then I have a cup of coffee and I feel better. It's nothing I'm battling. I'm not like going to tie myself to a towel until my mom yeah. comes in the room. But... Fuck you. It was a blanket. It was a blanket. You know it was a blanket. <laughs> Did did you ever think when your mom caught you, you would you just said to your mom, it's a bit. This is a I'm doing a bit. Well, I ha I did think I did think of saying of to make her worry less that I I it briefly crossed my mind to make it a sex thing. Like to take, <laughs> oh, that's a yeah. smart move. To take yeah, my dick smart. out and be like, no, I'm not suicide. It's a David Carradine <laughs> situation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have a German friend. <laughs> yeah. So that's how you that's how you attempted it, Brendan? You tied a blanket I, I tied a very thin blanket because uh, it was a kind of really happened very quickly. I tied a very thin blanket around my neck and uh, uh, jumped from a rafter. Uh, I tied it around a rafter at my parents' house. But then uh, what happened was the blanket stretched and went and stretched out. And so then I was on my tippy toes. And then <laughs> – oh, uh, yeah, and But I had also tied – I had tied the knot really good, you know? And so I had to go like, uh, I was there, just there for a while. I couldn't get the knot undone. So then I had to go, Ma! Ma, I hung myself, you know? And she, she couldn't hear me. So she goes, I'm on the phone! And so I just had to be like, oh, whenever you get a chance, you know, I'm just hung. I'm just here, hung. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yo, Mike Greg tried to commit suicide once too. He he tried to follow me on stage. Come get that smoke, Greg. You ain't you, that's the kind of thing a friend's gonna say about another friend. <laughs> on a on an internationally recognized podcast, you Clearly, not as famous as you. Clearly, I'm not as famous as you because I never did the comedy show shop in Boston. Okay. And I'm trying to get those gigs, and you're gonna tell me I can't follow you. That's fucked up, bro. That's fucked up, bro. Because you Sorry, know I've got man. the energy of a black comic. That's yeah, that is true, not about everyone. Just one. I'm talking about one specifically. Oh, you know which, who he is? Which one? Rick. Steam, oh. Steamboat Rick. You never Steam, oh yeah, of course. He's one model of my comedy about. Why didn't I think of yeah. that? Yeah, a lot of people. Like, him, go ahead. What? Give him a little bit of Steamboat Rick. Oh yeah, yeah. Come out and go. The boat's in town. Here I come. <laughs> Steamboat Rick. It yeah, the like, whole audience were sailor I like I'm getting real close to the edge here, and I'm uh, <laughs> it's, uh no, I man, love this is blind Mike show, off. man. I, are you wrong? Colorblind Mike, colorblind Mike. You know we don't see this. True, true. Right. Yeah. What's everybody's true. sign? What, what do you mean by that? I'm a like, Gemini. Oh, okay. I guess I would be. I'm trying to get out of the Steamboat Rick bit. No, I think you should do it. I think you should really dive oh, I in, Greg. I think if you're... <laughs> again by the libs. I don't if want the I... libs coming after me. Listen, oh, we'll you won't have people like me short DC selling your career if you do cards. characters like Steamboat Rick. I think that would really accelerate things. <laughs> <laughs> These libs and their masks and their and their coronavirus is real bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> well, you you actually had we were talking before the show and I you gave an interesting perspective that I hadn't heard before. Yeah, my like, it's very passed. real in New York, right? Yeah, my uncle passed. Uh, no, from... he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. Jerk. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he passed. Well, because he was on. He was trying to get into his gym, and a cop shot him. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not really. <laughs> that's not quite. That's COVID related. Yeah. And Obama. Oh, Obama's so. going to say that's, that's COVID true. related to get yep. the numbers up. Right, sure. That's what Obama is trying to do right now. He's yeah, puffing those numbers. Yeah, up. I thought we voted Obama in for four years, not forty. What's up? <laughs> Get that smoke. Get that smoke. Um, so, what do you usually talk about on this podcast? My, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Yeah, man, I don't guys, have any idea. Mike, I listen to your podcast because I'm. Uh, you're Thank a you, fan Mike. of mine. I'm a fan of yours. I'm always fans of my fans. I listen to your podcast. I know exactly what happens on Thank the you. Kirk Manahan Network all the time. This is exactly how most episodes go. So yes, don't worry about it, Greg. Who do I got to blow to say hi to Kirk Monahan? Monahan. That's you. You Anthony. You got to get to Anthony's level. He could be on. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. there. The main show. It took years for me to get to Kirk Monahan. Right. <laughs> Did you ever see Batman Begins? Of course, my whole life. Do you know? Yeah. Well, scene? I mean, what we usually talk about, like I have, uh, I'm doing an interview with Mark Norman next in a little while, and I think he's going to do some of his uh, ethnic characters that he has planned, and we do stuff like that all the time. Oh, oh nice. yeah. Yeah. Tell, yeah. Mark doesn't believe in COVID either. He doesn't. 
Oh, good. Yeah. Well, that was a good bonding experience. Tell him about how I told you about how he how he's been breaking how he's been breaking virus protocol <laughs> to vote for that turtle that turtle senator. What's his name? Lindsey Graham. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, man. How come no one brings that up? What half, I've often wondered. That. Turtle in the Senate. You don't think this guy's gonna try to sneak in turtle rules and stuff? <laughs> that's that's worth considering. <laughs> you know, oh man, you just watch, watch them closely, because all of a sudden this guy's gonna try to pass a lot of stuff about aquariums and things of that nature, things that affect turtles. <laughs> yeah, like book storage in your shell. You ever see when a turtle goes back to his shell, he comes out with a book, and he's like, oh, "Hold up, my whole house is in there." I love that. But that's oh, not real. Yeah. That's I caught. An ex girlfriend of mine, um, fucking a turtle. Really? Well, that'll yes. Be no, let's do said, 40 minutes said, on that. Go ahead. I said, Where is she? Where is she, you son of a bitch? Where is she? And they, they go, I don't know. I haven't seen her. And then I saw one of her panties out of his shell. He stuffed her in there. <laughs> Yeah, this purposes. is the kind of highbrow comedy you'll get on the red dude. This is what I was talking about, guys. I remember she looked at that turtle and she went, mm, he comes too fast. <laughs> six years. <laughs> Took him six years to come. We, well, can I say come on this show? Of course. Say whatever you want. It's a children's can... show? Uh, yes, it's exclusively uh, eighth graders, actually. They show if it in class. If, if you would hear the filth that comes out of Kirk Menahan's mouth, you, would, you could know, you could say whatever you want in this goddamn program. <laughs> you're, you're damn right, Anthony. <laughs> Man. It, it does make me feel bad that like, you asked what I would usually talk about. I would usually ask boring, like I was going to ask about uh, writing on Michelle Wolf's show and shit like no, that, but now there's no. no possible way I could get back into, like, Greg fooled me. And had interest, an interesting take before the show on coronavirus. <laughs> so I said, well, let's do that. And he oh, talks yeah, about his a, fake uncle getting shot. If oh, you got to fight a man in the face <laughs> to get your hair cut, you do it. Okay? <laughs> you don't step on my legal liberty. I'll get a haircut. I'll fight your face, motherfucker. <laughs> no one says I can't get my bouffant done up right <laughs> Sorry, I just have my Brendan own political agenda. Brendan's still with us. Brendan's mad at me because I cut him off before. No, no, I, I you know, I, I'm, I'm letting the boys uh, roll a little bit here. Uh, <laughs> Brendan's like a dad know. who's letting his kids swim in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> He's just watching us have fun. Yeah, go on, yeah. boy. Go on, boy. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, and, you know, if you if you want any real information, uh, Mike. <laughs> Go ahead and ask me, uh, but in the meantime, we'll let uh, uh, these these two uh, maniacs uh, run all over, run roughshod over both of us. And if this isn't a goddamn respected program you're trying to run, and it it's fucking infuriates me, it infuriates me on the Red Dude cast, it infuriates me for you, and it infuriates Thank me you, for Brent. fucking Kurt Menefee. This is not the kind of shit he no, made a goddamn knew. network for. If you knew what Menahan was up to behind closed doors, you'd never be on his side. That Menahan, guy is a moving shadow. Menahan <laughs> would stand with me. With me, you can't keep my helicopter business down. What's for going up? I got fifteen people up next Thursday. What are you we talking about? Them. I got a helicopter business. Play, yeah, you do. Play. Yeah, then they're trying to let, they're trying to say I can't fly because I got too many people in the copper. I go, that's the only way to yep. get a fair price, or else I got charged. Play. Gre yeah, Greg was at the forefront of the, the bikini model helicopter business. He's been running a little operation called oh, yes. Blades with Babes for 10 years now. <laughs> right. And this goddamn government is getting in the way with it. There was a time where it was a good trend to be at the forefront of, though. I mean, you had your yeah. heyday, and now it's yeah. like <laughs> like all empires. It came crashing down eventually. But you had yeah. your run. Before, before the Me Too movement. And yes. Kobe Bryant's untimely death, Blades with Babes, was one of the most prominent businesses in the country. I can, they got I can, hit with the, with the with the classic double whammy, right? <laughs> Me too, and Kobe Bryant, because Me too came around, and he went, "All right, it's just Blades, it's just Blades. You got me. It's just Blades with anyone, with anyone who we equally respect." And then Kobe Bryant. The helicopter crash and he goes fuck now it's just, now i'm just left with my beer for dogs business. yeah you don't want to know what blades with babes is now please it's a goddamn graphic design firm like all the other ones oh yeah 
It's as the you, classic trajectory. <laughs> as you know, my other business, Gay Blades, which was a helicopter business where we went from rooftop to rooftop of hot boys, party club boys. We just no sh- all air, no shirt. It sounds. I'll say it sounds very similar. Up. It it's sounds very like you had one idea. <laughs> but we had Babes Blades was for people who wanted babes. And then we had right. Gay Blades because we were clearly missing a big part of the market. And that market was lubed up men with sharp nipples. Yes. And they said as long as women are getting harassed and Kobe Bryant is alive, mm-hmm. so keep thriving forever. <laughs> See, we can keep going. We can well, up my rope. Here, my rope thing. and dope. And one of the one of the worst one of the worst because this was actually when me and Greg first started working together was it, when he had blades with Ray's, uh, but then Ray Combs from uh, uh, Family Feud killed himself, and then we were down. We only had two Rays left. We had Ray Lewis, uh, and we had uh, what was it? Who, who's the other Ray that we had? Uh, Ray Romano. Yes, Ray Romano. And Ray Romano. And a ray of light. Sure. And, and Ray Lewis in a ray of light. Right. And Ray Lewis is that, you know, obviously people accused him of murder. Who knows what the truth is there, but they weren't, it wasn't selling a lot of tickets. But basically, we were ask, having to ask if you recall, Greg, we had to have Romano up in the air pl- pretty much 24 hours a day. Uh, 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 the sunshine. I like the sunshine. I'm up here. Like, oh, uh, Linda, yeah, where are my kids? Oh, oh. This is, if I'm to understand, this is just taking a helicopter ride with Ray Romano. That's yeah, the, and a ray right of up. sunshine. Okay. Ray yeah. Romano and an empty seat of a, of a sunshine to light your spirits. It was 15 minutes. It cost $12,000. Uh, our client list included uh, such luminaries as, uh, you know, who uh, I don't remember. We had, uh, uh, of course, Giuliani went up there. <laughs> really? Uh, Mad- yeah, Madonna. Madonna. Okay. Many a ride. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein loved it. Did loved you see it. me in vinyl? Did you see me in vinyl? I think yeah. I'm making a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you usually talk about well, i'm telling you man it's similar know. to this <laughs> yeah it's pretty much this every this every week i'm on is exactly like the rad dude guest yeah well every week i have comedians come on and pitch me businesses and then other businesses that rhyme with that business i say well how can we expand on this <laughs> this is a that is that's actually a great idea it oh is. oh yeah Yep. I never told you about fades and blades where we get you in a helicopter <laughs> yeah. and we cut your hair. And that was a problem because it's really hard big to problem. cut someone's hair in turbulence. <laughs> turbulence. Yeah. Big problem. <laughs> and so I guess what would be the advantage of getting your hair cut up there would be the real question. But that's <laughs> and, uh, for greater minds than me to figure out. I wasn't. I wasn't. No, even... the gravity does something different to your hair. You never, if you never had your hair cut in space, you'd never had it cut. Wow. I'm missing out. <laughs> uh, and. I wasn't even going to bring it. I wasn't even going to bring it up because obviously you go on a podcast to promote yourself and good things you've done. Sure. But uh, our, our biggest failure, of course, now that it's out there, our biggest failure, of course, blades and AIDS. Uh, yeah. well, that, oh, sure. I didn't know you were going to. That seemed doomed from the start, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, that just, it just. I did not like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I like riding with involved. the sunshine. I don't like riding with these vials. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Carl Malone alone shut us down. <laughs> he plays with eggs. He, he got he got real big. I, I, I guess that, I can was, to that was Carl his Malone. problem, though, because Carl Malone alone was the business he was trying to pitch. Where yeah, he was in a room in the darkness alone with Carl Malone, and he tells and he whispers, <laughs> hey, man. Does he tell <laughs> stories, or yeah. is it just... <laughs> Pleasantries. He tells you things you messed up <laughs> on in your life. He tells you. He yeah, tells you the secret he hates about John Stockton. Oh, oh really? Well, that's should fun. Have I would a little. Sounds like he likes him so much, so he only likes to tell you when he's alone. Actually, <laughs> not, actually, I don't like Stockton that much. It's a lot of that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a. I think this one's of all the businesses you've created here. I think this is this one's the green light. <laughs> yeah, Carl alone, alone. That got us on Shark Tank. Yeah. Really, I don't recall and that episode, Blades but I didn't see AIDS everyone. Blades got us banned. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just to get the pitch clear, Carl Malone alone is yeah. pay to have Carl Malone sit in your house and talk shit about how he really feels about John Stockton. I really feels about John Stockton. Right. 
I love I love that I love the idea that you come back and go, look, I just got to make this clear. In in case anyone, in case anyone, in case anyone was confused about this fictitious business I just invented, uh, let's be a hundred percent clear. I don't want anyone fucking around saying it's something different. It's Carl Malone. Don't think you're gonna get Carl Malone and talk about something else. He's alone, and he's talking about John Stockton. That's the pitch. Because he'll never talk bad about John Stockton in front of other people. Right. He's not going to talk about the Lakers days. He's not going to talk about his post-playing career. It's specifically Stockton. That's what happened on Shark Tank is the one, the, the, uh, the lady with the connection at, uh, the home shopping network. She goes, yeah, Barbara. Yeah. Barbara. No, it's not Barbara. Yeah. No, it is. Anthony, let him finish. Yeah. Lori. But I want to get this right, man. Well, it's Lori. Shark Tank heads out there. will come for us. Lori. Lori. Lori was prepared to invest $4 million if it was John Stockton and Carl Malone alone. And we walked right the fuck out of there because we said, "Don't change, don't change our business. We're not. Right. John Stockton's not a part of it. He's what gets talked about. He doesn't come <laughs> with Malone. You fucking bitch. It yeah. seems like it would ruin the entire thing. Honestly, yeah, so you, I can understand why you're so passionate about you it. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Greg, go ahead. And yeah, also, yeah. Stockton yeah. wasn't <laughs> available because he was working on his TV show Stocktown, which is a show about a hundred clones of John Stockton all trying to. To work their way out into the real world, but they're all like, Do we leave? Do we stay? We're so comfortable here. No, all the John Stockton clones should be. I want to get to Stocktown, of course. How could you not? But can I point out how infuriating no. it is that Anthony says, Greg, go ahead? Yes, yeah. <laughs> he's orchestrating here, he's running the ship. He's the man in charge, he's the most famous guy here. I guy worked the comedy house. Well. In, uh, Mike, every now and again, the true leader must emerge. I understand. <laughs> Mike, this is uh, this is what it's like, man. This is uh, it's gotta be tough, bro. Yeah, welcome to uh, uh, what what uh, you know? It's it's like uh, it's like how Stephen Hawking cheated on his wife. You know, sometimes true genius can take you so far that there's no limits on what you can do, and they'll. And you're you right now. You're Stephen Hawkins' wife, my friend, and Anthony is uh, fucking around on you. Uh, I think that's a perfect analogy. Yeah. <laughs> have oh, you guys? Have you guys ever? This is a real question. I'm sure I won't get a real answer, but sure. have you guys Not ever thought about animating the show? Because I feel like shit like this. I and mean, then maybe that's a stupid yeah. question. Maybe it's too difficult. You got money? No. But yeah, you right. That's the problem, I guess. <laughs> Mike, nothing out of your pretty little lips is stupid. Thank you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, when it comes to um when it comes to uh, uh, evolving in terms of how the uh show is consumed mm-hmm. um I, I i'm pretty old school with just just very happy with the audio greg really drives <coughs> greg really drives the evolution of the show he's got us uh more into youtube he's got us more into video clips greg has pushed for animation like we are those are all things we are considering the thing with the animation is just it's a money issue and it's right. uh we, we, there's some small animated clips out there but yeah for sure we'd be interested in it and and usually when it comes to those kind of things uh, it just giving you an honest answer greg is kind of the one pushing to be like hey look this this podcast is doing that or this, this yeah. is something we should look into so so money yeah we, what's that I <laughs> money talks money <laughs> oh, talks. Shit walks. yeah but our friend um, we have to shout out to Dan yeah, Harumi, say, yeah, exactly. our producer who who animated a few of these and he did a really good job and they look really really good he did it he's like a he's like a killer guy but it's too much to ask him for the 12 bucks we give him I actually, yeah, that's I actually wanted to reach out to Dan Harumi, but I didn't know how to reach him. But uh, he worked in right. He did those fucking like War of the Roses calls and shit, right? Yes, yeah, I did yeah, too. yeah. I was that was like a primary income for me for a while. Oh, oh, you did too? Yeah, yeah. They're crazy. So how do those? We talk about on the on the Kirk Minahan show, which Anthony loves. Love Kirk. Uh, love we talk about that. Fan. I'm so he honored. came from radio, so we'll talk about that type of like bad radio shit a lot. And we're fascinated by like War of the Roses and these obviously fake calls. What did they have you do? Just literally record on one end? So here you think. <laughs> they pay you twenty five dollars. Okay, twenty five to fifty dollars, and they call you and they they say you're gonna play a guy named Cal, 
right? Right. Yeah. Then they call, then the radio DJ calls you. They never speak to your real name. They call you that name. They go, Cal. And then you have to be the character. Now, here's right. the thing. They're going to tell you what they want. You really don't have to listen if you can just pull. You just pull. I just would go, no, nope, this is, I would say, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And I go, all right, Cal, you're a, you're a white man. You're devo- your wife is, you're cheating on your wife. And then I would come on and I would go, my bitch wife uh, is fucking the dog. And they would be like, all right, you got to retake that. Like, I'll, I'll retake that. My bitch wife is fucking the dog. Is that better? And like, if you just don't listen to them, they'll, ev- and you're funny enough, they'll just put them through. <laughs> that scene is such a strange thing. Like I've had, my girlfriend said when we started talking about this, my girlfriend's like, oh, I really thought those second date, second date update things were real. It's like, what? how do they have these people cheating on each other that are exposed at 7.15 and 9.15 every day, right. and no one's caught on to this fucking ruse yet around the city. I'm I sure did five one. Or six were real. I did. Sorry. Right. Oh, sorry, Go ahead, I, Brandon. No, I did one. Um, thank, <laughs> thank you, Anthony. Uh, uh, I did one where I had to be a guy who came home early from work, uh, and he, he uh, caught his girlfriend uh, uh, of, of 12 years uh, in bed with a fat old guy oh, getting no. fucked by a fat old guy. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, and then uh, it, it wasn't a radio call. It was my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you did. There. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that really happened to you. Yeah. Yeah. It was horrible. Oh, so, shit. Uh, I'm looking for radio stations to pick that up. You don't have to get a big guy. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll slander her. Expose this bitch. I'll slander her 17 years later. But he had a small <laughs> penis. I saw his penis. It was very small. That made me feel better. Because mm. you know what I mean? If it was a big penis, you'd think, ah, maybe it's a penis issue. But he had a right. small really? penis. Really? That go, would make me feel so much worse. No, yeah, for right. Me, she go, needs even a small penis just to get away from you. Well, yeah, but that's exactly. fine. As long as it's personality driven, that's fine. I okay, I can understand. As, if you don't like me because I'm uh, crazy and annoying, fine. Just don't dislike me because my penis isn't big enough. Sure. Mm. Sure. I think that's a very <laughs> healthy are, way to look at it. Those are my priorities. Whenever I, <laughs> whenever I come with my wife, I always say, and time. That's how I finished. Right. And she's ready to go again, I assume, right after that. No, she's usually not in the room. Uh, <laughs> Andrew, we're gonna cut you off for that for that big for that big bit. Oh, and so time. Have, have you ever tried uh end scene? <laughs> so I go back to you, eat out, and then I have to uh <laughs> Back to you, tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, what were you gonna say? I think you guys know. It. it was a while ago. It's too long ago now. <laughs> I'd also like to add that your camera is not even connected to your. This is what it's looking. You're just literally looking off into the distance in your house. You're looking at the refrigerator. I know what you're looking at. I've been in your house. I don't know why you're not looking at your camera. We gotta get back now. <laughs> well, it's when I look at you, it looks like I'm look. I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at you right now. Does it look like I'm looking at you? No. No. What do you know? It, it looks like it looks like like uh someone put a GoPro in, inside a raccoon trap. And, like, and the raccoon is coming up to lick the peanut butter and you just see the side of his face. That's literally what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. It, oh, it reminds yeah, me of, of, of someone trying to steal a package, not knowing that the guy yeah. has a ring doorbell. Yeah. And you're just yeah. kind of poking around, stealing a prime, prime box. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you guys do it. I, you're I, being watched right now, <laughs> sir. To be clear, to be clear, you're saying you don't know how we set up a camera and just look into it. For yes. A yes okay, I just want to make sure yes. that's what you meant. You're on track, Mike. <laughs> okay. You're on it track. didn't seem right to me, but I so I wanted to confirm. Oh uh, yeah, no, that's exactly the that's the problems I run into. I run into these simple problems. It's much, and I've always had this theory about Asian people with driving. And Mike, <laughs> and that's Here what we're on. We go. That's I always. I, look, if I if I didn't wasn't so familiar with the Kirk Menahan program, I wouldn't talk like this. But sure. I know that kind I know that kinds of jokes he likes. Um, <laughs> right, they get specifically, so, yeah. They're so smart. <laughs> yeah, they're so smart. They get so bored driving that Ooh. they get they just crash. Oh, I see. Okay, yes. Yeah. Specifically, old stereotypes we, like, we <laughs> endorse on this 
<laughs> I know. I don't know what. I know what's around the corner for a Kirk Manhattan program. <laughs> right, of course. Hey, this uh, got pretty good merch. We should get some Kirk Monahan sweatpants. You should got hoodies, t shirts. Great. I, yeah. I can't get any more. My girlfriend's already <laughs> mad at me. I've got so many Kirk Manahan embroidered tuxedos. That right. I... Those are our top item, actually. It's <laughs> funny you that. Yeah. You don't need to even promote those, Anthony. They sell so well. <laughs> yeah. I just. Well, it, I bought every one they made. Listen, the, a, a general rule of thumb, thumb in the clothing business is if you embroider anything, <laughs> yes. it's going to sell. It's going to sell like hotcakes because that's a rare, right. a very rare technique. The embroider- During coronavirus, embroidering <laughs> is right. <laughs> and I'll tell you a real story. And I'll tell you a real story. Oh, I got it. You want it. Every now and again, there's a guy who forgets to get his tux for the wedding or the prom, <laughs> and everyone is sold out. And then that guy shows up to the prom in the Kirk Monahan Minahan <laughs> embroidered tuxedo, and he steals the show. And he goes, "Damn it! I I I thought I was out of business. Turns out I'm back in business. It's not a bad idea. We'll look." <laughs> <laughs> Make sure, I mean, of course, it's been thriving for so long. <laughs> I, I don't need to look at it. I love them. I love them. I, they breathe. The... Julia said to stop screaming. Well, no, this is you, business. It's, she whispered into was... the microphone. We could all hear her. We're aware. She That's... said, stop screaming. Julian gets so she gets so scared of my passion, and uh, <laughs> right, but for tuxedos, it, yes, this is what you need to do, <laughs> Anthony. Whenever you start recording, you take a burlap sack and you put it over her head, and you tie her and you throw her into a bathroom and lock the door. <laughs> Greg, now I know, look, I know that they run a fast and loose ship on a Kirkman hand program, but that is not the No, it's over the line. Even for us, that's over the line. Even for Kirk and Mike, that's over the line. Exactly. Um, Not for you, not for Anthony, her her, her boyfriend. Now, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with the burlap sack kidnapping, but... No, it is one. It's one thing <laughs> not to bring up. It's one thing to bring up tired Asian stereotypes for no reason, but it is another thing to do what you just said. Right. That's that was a little much, Greg. No. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Blind Mike. I think if you, I, if you could, if you could, if you could just, if you could rope this chauvinist, thank you. If, I'd I'm like trying. to. Go, uh, I'd like to go on record as uh, sec- seconding Greg. Oh really? Yeah. We're oh doubling my down. God. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you got to make sure wow. you get a sock in her mouth first. I'm, I'm then you're here Well, that's a given. I'm team burlap sack. <laughs> right. You know what I do with my wife? Tell me. Uh, we have roof access. Okay. Under air quotes. I, uh, <laughs> okay. I got one of these giant ladders. They're like these ladders that's made by this company giant. And I make her go up the ladder. And then I pull the ladder. And then she's just on that hot roof cooking all night <laughs> until uh, I finish the podcast. Now, I'm not sure I understand that process. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, I put the ladder up against the roof. I go, go up there and check the Christmas lights. Let me take them down. And as soon as she gets up, I kick the ladder out, and that's when I record the podcast so that she can't interrupt me. Okay. Well, Mike, now I'm, I'm glad you explained like it a second time. Now it makes a lot of sense. My great <laughs> yes, move but... by having Greg unpack that. <laughs> as, if, um, as, as, as in hopes of, oh, maybe I just didn't get it. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I. I just, I think you know, what we really accomplished today was my goal, and that's I think we've painted an accurate depiction of what the Rad Dude Cast is. Um, I, I would say so, Mike. You guys, you guys may have dates coming up soon. I know it's probably up in the air, but uh, a, what do you think that's going to be like? And then tell us where they are, uh, Brendan. Mike, uh, will you plug my Twitter? Of course, yeah. Plug everything you want. <laughs> I think I think with the um, I think what with the uh, <laughs> Brendan talk. Uh, first of all. Uh, um, you know, uh, if you want to see, uh, two, uh, gentlemen run, uh, roughshod over a sensible human being like they did to Mike today, tune in <laughs> to the Rad Dude Cast, yes. uh, wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, um, and then, uh, I think with the, with the uncertainty about upcoming dates, the best thing people can do is if they're interested um, you could check out my album Desiree. That's available everywhere, or you can follow me at Airbud E Y R E B U D on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll post all my dates there. Beautiful. And if you listen to the Red Dude Cast and check it out and like it, honestly, subscribe to their Patreon because uh, they are good guys, as you've seen here today. That's um, what you want in a podcast. Good people. Good, good men. 
Yeah, not, I mean, would say yeah. so. not, they're not funny or interesting, but they're decent. Like, kicking the ball. <laughs> I'm one of the great promoters of all time, Greg. Thank you yeah. for pointing that out. That's that's as I've come to learn, that's a classic blind mic review. <laughs> <laughs> These people wear nice shirts. <laughs> Listen to their podcast because they get haircuts. <laughs> they're well dressed. They're articulate. <laughs> oh man! Go, um, go next. Yeah, what? go ahead. Yes, so, I go. will be performing at the San Bernardinus Gun Show, where I will be showing now, loaded sounds... guns to children at a very close distance. If you thought we were close before, but we're even closer now. No mask, mask, pussy, la la. You can't tell me I can't get a haircut, pussies. <laughs> dot com. Type all that in. Okay. <laughs> so type that in. You can find Greg Stone. I believe his Twitter is uh, Greg Stone underscore. Am I right about that? Oh yeah, that's so, it too. Oh, Thanks. After after he after he whispered into my ear, could you plug my Twitter? <laughs> then he forgets to do it. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason you don't know who I am. It's because. Uh, we don't really do good at promoting. <laughs> Greg Stone underscore. Follow the man. They're all very, all hilarious. Anthony DeVito yeah, underscore then, on Twitter um, as well. Oh, sure. <laughs> what was that? Was that on my Twitter? Yes. Yeah, Mike's got all my social media handles. Uh, turn to Mike for all that stuff. But I'd yeah, like to tell him. you my – I'd like to tell you I'm at, I'm at Venmo. At Venmo, I, I've just recently been on Venmo. Oh, and good. I, just trying to I'm not, cash? <laughs> what's that? Yeah, my, my listeners will pay you. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on Venmo at Anthony Dash DeVito, uh, and I've got a bunch of stuff. So just offer me some money for whatever you think I might have, and maybe we'll have a deal. Okay. I've Everything... never heard bartering over Venmo. That's an interesting. <laughs> Everything is for sale. Excellent. Everything you see behind me is Everything's for sale. Everything's negotiable. I've got, I've got, you don't know what I've got, but I know what I've got. So take a guess at what I've got, and then put a price tag on that guess, and maybe I have it, and maybe I'll give it to you. And. That's the talk of the town for now. <laughs> um, instead of my promotion, I'd like to give my time to the essential workers. You already okay. did your promotion. Oh, your promotion though, so we can't really go back. Oh. I'll edit it out. And I'll... <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh. oh, my God. By, by the way, we really do appreciate you, uh, you having us on. <laughs> Oh. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, my pleasure is all my by far our best and most fun episode. The very very funny guys in the Red Dude Cast. Go check them out. Uh, thank you guys so much for doing it. Honestly, thanks, thank man. You, Mike. You're the best, dude. Go <laughs> all right, boys. Thanks.